Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is a very exciting day in DeFi. Uniswap has just announced that they've launched their V3 exchange on Optimism. Now, if you're not familiar with Optimism, it is a true layer two solution to Ethereum. So a true L2 like Optimism and Arbitrum differ from Polygon or other sidechains in very significant ways. I will link a video in the top right here where I have a full breakdown of Arbitrum, which again is very similar to Optimism. So you can watch that video if you want to learn more about how an L2 differs from a sidechain. The short answer is that Optimism and Arbitrum both get their security from the Ethereum layer one. The second main thing is that Optimism and Arbitrum are fully dependent on Ethereum. So you actually pay for transactions with Ethereum on Optimism and Arbitrum. But of course, those transaction costs are going to be significantly cheaper than what you would experience on Ethereum layer one. Again, that Arbitrum video that I released is going to be the best resource for you if you're not familiar with how these L2s work. It's worth noting that Uniswap will deploy on Arbitrum at some point, uh, but right now they're just launching it on Optimism, which again is a huge deal. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to bridge your assets over to Optimism. I'm also going to give you everything you need to know before you do that, just to make sure that you're doing everything in a safe manner. I'm gonna show you how to connect to the Optimism network. And lastly, I'm going to show you what the Optimism L2 experience is like with Uniswap. Now I will link this article below. Again, I highly recommend that you read this article and all other articles referenced, but just at a high level in this article, Optimism basically lays out um, the important things you want to know before you bridge your assets over. So the first important thing to know is that Uniswap actually has a hard limit of 50,000 transactions per day on Uniswap v3 on Optimism. This equates to about 0.6 transactions per second, which is pretty much equivalent to what we see on Uniswap v3 on mainnet. Um, so there should be enough room to really test out Optimism and really stress test it under real market conditions. Now, the second thing you need to know is that Optimism themselves are actually trying to enforce the 50,000 transaction per day limit. And so they're doing this with a uh, congestion pricing mechanism. So the price of the fees on Optimism will increase um, as we pass that 50,000 transaction per day mark. Now, these limits will all be increased over time, and I expect them to increase fairly quickly just as we see a ton of liquidity flow to these platforms and them just prove themselves that they're secure and safe. Now, the second major thing Optimism wants to warn you of is unplanned downtime. Uh, so what that essentially means is the network could go down unexpectedly. Now, they point out that Optimism is an alpha right now, so it is quite risky. Um, this probably would not occur with loss of funds, but loss of funds are possible. Um, so something to be wary of before you deposit to Optimism right now. And I should note they also have a link here, which I will link below to check the status of the network. Now, lastly, they want to warn users that there is actually future planned downtime. So in the next few months, they're going to be upgrading Optimism and Optimism could go fully offline during that time. That wouldn't mean you lose your funds. It just means you couldn't access the network or make any transactions during that uh, time window. Now, there is one other main thing I wanted to cover before you bridge your assets over from Ethereum mainnet to Optimism's L2, and that is that there can be a delay between moving assets from Ethereum to Optimism and back. Now, Optimism says that to bridge your assets onto L2 from the Ethereum layer one, um, it could take up to 10 minutes. And in my experience, that was a bit of an overestimation for me. It just took about five minutes, but you can expect about 10 minutes to bridge your assets over to L2. Now it gets a bit tricky when you're trying to bring your layer two assets on Optimism back to layer one Ethereum. Now because Optimism gets their security from Ethereum, there's actually a challenge period in place, um, which could take up to a week. And so that's why that if you bring your assets from Optimism back to Ethereum layer one, it can take up to a week for your transaction to be finalized. Now, one very important thing to note about this one week time delay to bring your Optimism assets back to Ethereum level one is that there are going to be other solutions to allow you to bring your assets back to L1 nearly instantly. There are a couple projects that don't yet support Optimism, but are coming soon, and I will link them below. Uh, one of them is called Connext, and the other is called Hop, and both of those help you instantly transact from L2 back to Ethereum Layer 1. So there will be other solutions. This won't always take one week. Uh, just something I thought was very important to note here. So now that we've gone over all of that, I do want to walk you through how you actually bridge your assets over Optimism. So I would say the bridging process is actually one of the easiest out there. It's definitely better than Polygon's experience right now. So all you do is basically connect your account on mainnet, 
And then you can see here you can deposit any amount of ETH that you'd like to optimistic Ethereum. Now it is worth noting you can also deposit other assets. You can see that assets are whitelisted right now, so not all tokens that you have on mainnet have deployed yet to layer two. Uh, but I expect that assets will be supported very shortly and we'll see almost all assets on Ethereum layer one bridge over. So when you're ready, all you have to do is hit deposit and then you'll see that a MetaMask pops up where you can hit confirm and that will start the bridging process. So I'm gonna head and hit confirm and I just did instant gash, so that should happen very, very quickly. And you can see they give an etherscan uh, link here so you can click that if you wanna monitor the transaction. Right now it's just confirming the transaction on mainnet. That should happen fairly quickly and then you'll see uh, right now that the deposit's on route to optimistic Ethereum and you can see right now there's one confirmation and this could take about 10 or 20 minutes to fully confirm. Now while this is happening, this is a great time to configure your MetaMask so that it supports optimism. So if we click MetaMask here, this is a process you might have gone through if you've connected to BSC or Polygon before, but you'll see I'll click here, and if I click Optimistic Ethereum, that'll switch me over to Optimism. Now this is not something that is in your MetaMask by default, you actually have to add this network manually. So to add Optimism, all you do is click on this icon here on your MetaMask, and then you can hit settings and you can scroll down to networks and you can see here that I have optimistic Ethereum already selected but if you don't have that you can just hit add network and then you'll see that you'll have the ability to enter all of these in inputs in manually. Now it's very important you get this right. You can either copy the inputs I have here in my MetaMask but I'm also going to include a link to Optimism's official post and Uniswap's official post um, that you can click on and it'll give you all of the inputs that you can copy and paste into the network section on MetaMask. Now after you've done that, you can just exit out and you'll see here that you now have the option to select Optimistic Ethereum. So you can switch between Ethereum Mainnet, Optimism, uh, BSC, Matic, or whatever networks you've connected to. Now I'm not going to go through the withdrawal process right now. It is quite simple if you wanna do that yourself, but again, just a heads up, that could take a week to process to get your assets back to Ethereum layer one. So now that we have a little bit of ETH on Optimism, I'm gonna head over to Uniswap. So right off the bat here, you can see that uh, Uniswap on Optimism looks pretty much identical to Uniswap on layer one. So now I wanna show you how cheap and easy it is to actually do a transaction on Optimism uh, with Uniswap. So you can see here, I have about 0.12 ETH in this account. And so I'm gonna try to switch over about half of my ETH to DAI. So now all I'll do is hit swap. And you can see here the details pop up and I'll just hit confirm swap. And then my MetaMask pop-up comes up and you can see the gas fee is about 0.00389 ETH. Now I just did the math on a calculator to the right, but right now that comes out to be about 77 cents. So it's about 77 cents to swap from ETH to DAI on Uniswap right now. So now I'm just going to hit confirm here. And you can see here that that transaction already was mined. Now that transaction happened so quickly, it mined before Etherscan even picked it up. You can see here Etherscan did deploy an optimistic Etherscan. Um, and I'll link that below if you wanna check that out, check that out and explore uh, different transactions there. But of course, that is lightning fast, and that is very impressive. So I'm going to go back to Uniswap now, and of course you can see my balance is updated because that transaction already went through almost instantly. As far as I know, that's significantly faster than Polygon and really anything else we've seen, which is incredible, and this is so exciting. Now I also want to show you how much it costs to provide liquidity on L2, so I'm going to go over to the Pool tab here, and I'm going to hit New Position. So I'm going to select an ETH die pair because I just converted some ETH to die, so it's super convenient for me. Uh, but you can see here that I'm selecting a price range right now. Now this is a very small position, so I'm not gonna focus too much on optimizing it, but if you're interested in learning how to optimize a Uniswap V3 position, I will link below and then also in the top right a video I did on that. So you can see here, of course, I have to approve my die for usage on Uniswap, and I'm going to do that here. You can see it's actually calculating the price now on MetaMask. I'm sure there are just some bugs where sometimes it doesn't calculate the price and sometimes it does. Uh, but you can see here it's about 71 cents to approve DAI. So I'm just going to hit confirm and that's pending. And you can see just like that it's already approved. And I'm going to show you it approved even before um, it showed up on Etherscan again, which is very cool. Just to refresh that, you can see it was approved. Now that we're back on Uniswap, I'm going to hit preview and I'm just gonna hit add right here. So now the MetaMask pop-up comes up and you can see that it costs about 0.00486 gas 
to make this transaction happen. So I just did that on my calculator to the right and it costs about 97 cents. So to create a Uniswap V3 liquidity position, it's less than a dollar, which again is incredible. Now I expect this transaction to go through extremely quickly. So I'm just going to hit confirm. Uh, you can see it was already added before I could even go to Etherscan, which is awesome. So I'll hit view on Etherscan. Sure enough, you can see I have that Uniswap V3 liquidity position. And if we're back on Uniswap, you can see that it's in range here. So that's all I wanted to demo today, but I hope you can see what the future potential of Optimism and Arbitrum really is. Obviously the speeds you just saw and the prices you just saw are incredible, and to be doing that on Ethereum is, is just mind blowing. This really is the true L2 scaling solution we've all been looking for, and I really think Optimism and Arbitrum are so important to Ethereum. And I think they're going to take a lot of liquidity away from other side chains uh, we've seen like Polygon or just independent chains like BSC. Now, if you have any questions, I will link our community Discord below. There's about 2,500 of us that are just happy to talk about DeFi, excited about what's being deployed, and we're happy to help if you have any questions. With that said, please like the video if this helped you, subscribe if you haven't yet, and then hit the notification bell. Now, thank you all so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.